Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the vlog. We've over 200 vlogs now. Edward Tindall here and Sarah Tindall. What are you doing, Sarah? Going through millworms. Okay, going through millworms. I will take some millworms while we're at it. We're going to do an update on the storming. Sarah's going to be separating millworms. Here is superworms, by the way. And these beetles come from superworms. They smell like bacon for some reason. Um, I've seen some of them breeding a little bit. Yeah, and then some of them are dead. Yeah, they die after a while. But uh, they smell like bacon. I need some more potatoes in there for them. This is cool on this stormy malt. I'll show you guys. I wouldn't feed it for you, but it hasn't been sitting long enough. You know, tweezers or something? Huh? You have to use a shaky hand. I'm having issues holding this light and everything. Here is the head cap of the molt. And underneath here is something very interesting. I've not noticed this on trains before. But they're always destroyed. But look at that. That little piece right there that's hanging out like a little feather. How cool is that? Really cool, right? Well, I don't know if I told you or not, but when I was sexing this with a pendulum technique, it's around, right around a lot of other females. So I was saying it with a female. In fact, it is an adult, mature male now. I'll show you how beautiful it is. If it don't run off, keep your eyes peeled on that. I hope it's trying to run off. I don't want it to run off. It's trying to run off. I have an issue again, trying to hold this light in the camera and everything. We got a new camera on the way, people, so don't worry. Bear with me, I can't see what I'm filming anymore, so I'm just trying to point it in the general direction. Maybe the hairy legs. And if it's upside down, I'm sorry. Some bulbous pinup helps. Very red hair on the legs. He's as big as a paper plate now. And it will be getting bred shortly. Still looking for people that have a Pampabedius SP Goliath. Because I have a mature male that just made a massive sperm web. And I have an immature male as well. So. Well, hold anyone, up a second. If anyone knows or knows where someone might have it, share this video around so we can get that. The reward of a trio of Pampabedius SP Goliath still stands to anyone that finds me someone to breed with my massive mature. We want you guys to wait and pause this video and go check out Dave Scott 432 and tell him on this video down below, tell him happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday Dave. Here's the massive SP Goliath and the massive sperm web. Purple tarantula there. It's not going to live forever, people, so please, if anyone knows anybody and you want a trio of these out of my portion, I'll do a 50-50 with someone and give you a trio of the babies. And uh, that is awesome because there's not very many of these in the hobby at all. They are extremely rare. Those came from Paul Becker. Paul Becker got out of the business. Very few people bought them from... 
or the very few people that have bought them I don't know who all they are but it sucks because there's not enough people that has them so we can keep them going and we need to because they're absolutely beautiful I haven't seen an adult female I don't know if any, anybody has if you have leave it in the comments below um, you got me some millworms separated so for these we're going to feed some Pampa BDS SP Macalas now for you guys. Hopefully in frame. Are you timing? Huh? You're not. I thought you were going to set that for me. This battery is going to die. I'm trying to get everything figured out. Oh, it is set? Huh? Was it set, baby, or what? It was, I just took like two minutes off. <clears throat> okay. Alright, um, tweezers. Yeah, we got tweezers. Here are the Pampos SP Macala. See if they're hungry, and hopefully it's in frame. not in frame stay tuned whoa and attack the tweezers I hope y'all got to see that it's attacking that there's uh, one of them we have eight we're going through and we're gonna continue feeding Six. off the cam two four. oh I guess I do only got six my bad six eight did have I did have eight. I'm sorry, I made a trade. I forgot. Here's number two, I think. I'm gonna make sure I'm holding this camera. So y'all get to see the kill. These guys are growing. Don't forget a happy tarantula, the tarantula with something in its mouth. Or two things in its mouth, like that one. Uh, the other camera that we have on the way, we've got a light. Kind of like the light that you see with the uh, the dark dim. Can you put them back over here, please? Kind of like the light with the dark dim, so I'm going to be having that. There you go. I don't know if I caught that or not. And he was on it, like white on rice on a paper plate in the middle of a July snowstorm. It's like really on it, people. I uh, got that from Major Payne a long time ago. If you all know, haven't seen that movie, I need to watch it. It's pretty cute. Cool. Well, I am in here and see what we can do. Got to be a tarantula in here. Oh, I see some feet. I see some feet. Watch this. Oh, right in the water bowl. Watch this. Oh. Bust it wide open, right? He didn't get two of them in his mouth. He should. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to attempt it. Yep. He's just going to scoop it up. Yep, 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 yep. You got to love Pampos, people. And all Pampos that I've seen so far look identical to each other so if y'all want a Pampa BDS SP Goliath trio find me a female as soon as humanly possible if y'all can share this video on the different tarantula chat forums or different places like that I'm a member of so many groups I don't know which ones are which ones are which don't slap that spider if he jumps on you Get acting crazy. 
he or she. There we go. There's another one. I don't know if he's going to get it or not. <laughs> he senses it. It's not making enough vibration. Wow. There you go. Well, he missed it. Oh, he didn't miss it. Now he's letting go of the other one he had. Now he's got that one. It's a mouthful. We'll say that. That's a Pampavidius. Let's pee my color for you guys. Hopefully I'm gathering some good footage and plenty of bug juice. For those of you who like bug juice. For those of you who love creepy crawlies, check out that. That assortment of, uh, do we have any potatoes in here? We gotta get some more. They're downstairs. Alright, I'll have to get some. Here's the last pampo. Over here we got gliders eating like crazy. Um, I heard the last pampo BDS SP Makala. getting a good view. I apologize for all of the inconvenient camera angles and views and aiming at the floor and everything else. Uh, you guys all I'm seeing is a black off. screen on here so I really don't know. I'm just trying to point it in the right direction and shoot. Get better. Y'all let me know what you think about the Pampy BDSSP McCullough's. I do have enough to be able to make some breeding project here in males and females so I definitely want to stay tuned for that um, put these over there and this right here The this green frogs going on. Severe vicular purpurae. Um, the beauty and the beast thing. What a beast. shed one. Lovely. Must not be hungry. Um. He's it. And there are, uh, it's time, people. Oh, I wish I could see this purple ray. Why that purple ray is not hungry is beyond me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Look at a Vicularia purple ray, people. Da, 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 da. Leave beast alone. He's definitely a beast. Checked it out. He's waiting for his beauty. His and then bell. We'll, then we'll have beauty and the beast. Song as old as time. Story old as a rhyme. Beauty and the beast. Alright, peace, love, and happiness, people. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Edward Tyndall and Sarah Tyndall, and so many millworm Tyndalls out.